In this video, we will introduce perimeter as well as common perimeter formulas. The perimeter of a two-dimensional shape is the distance around the shape. To determine the perimeter of a polygon, we add the length of each side. Let's first consider a rectangle where we know the opposite sides have the same length. So if we label the length L, the opposite side has length L. If we label the width W, the opposite side has length W. And now if we think about walking around the rectangle to determine the perimeter, the perimeter is equal to L plus W plus L plus W, which gives us the perimeter P again is equal to L plus W plus L plus W, but L plus L is equal to two L, and W plus W is equal to two W, giving us the perimeter formula for a rectangle of the perimeter P is equal to two L plus two W. So we can use this formula to determine the perimeter of a rectangle, but again, we can always just find the perimeter by adding the lengths of the sides. So if we consider the rectangle below, we know if this side has length 12 centimeters, the opposite side has length 12 centimeters. If this length is five centimeters, the length of the opposite side is also five centimeters. So if again, we think about walking around the rectangle to determine the perimeter, the perimeter is 12 centimeters plus five centimeters plus 12 centimeters plus five centimeters. So without using the formula, we know the perimeter P is equal to 12 plus five plus 12 plus five. We normally leave the units off when performing the calculation, and 12 plus five plus 12 plus five is 34, giving us a perimeter P of 34 centimeters. So we do need units on our final answer, and because perimeter is a length, the units don't change, we still have centimeters. Or we could find the perimeter using the formula P equals two times L plus two times W, which gives us two times 12 plus two times five, giving us P equals 24 plus 10, which does give us 34 centimeters. So again, with or without the formula, we get the same perimeter of 34 centimeters. And now let's consider a square where we know the lengths of the four sides of a square are all the same. So if we label the length of one side S, the remaining sides also have length S. So if we walk around the square to determine their perimeter, their perimeter P is equal to S plus S plus S plus S. And S plus S plus S plus S is equal to four S giving us the perimeter formula P equals four S. And now looking at the square below, this side has length six inches, and therefore the other sides also have a length of six inches. Walking around the square to determine the perimeter, the perimeter P is equal to six inches plus six inches plus six inches plus six inches and six plus six plus six plus six is equal to 24, the perimeter is 24 inches. Or using the formula P equals four S, the perimeter P is equal to four times six inches, four times six is 24, giving us the same perimeter of 24 inches. And now let's consider a triangle. There is no special formula for the perimeter of a triangle. We simply add the lengths of the three sides. So if we label the lengths of the sides A, B, and C, walking around the triangle, the perimeter is A plus B plus C. So looking at the triangle below, if we start here, the perimeter is going to be nine feet plus five feet plus 10 feet. So the perimeter P is equal to, again, nine plus five plus 10, which is equal to 24. The perimeter is 24 feet. Now let's consider the perimeter of a circle. The perimeter of a circle is called the circumference of a circle, and a circle is not a polygon, and therefore we'll have to use the special formula 
the circumference C is equal to two pi R, which equals pi D, where R is the radius of the circle and D is the diameter. So looking at the circle here, notice how the radius is the distance from the center to the circle and the diameter is equal to two times the radius or the diameter is the distance across a circle passing through the center. So for our example below, notice how we are given the radius R where the radius R is equal to four meters and therefore the circumference C of the circle, which again is the perimeter of the circle, is equal to two times pi times R, which in our case is two times pi times four meters. Well, two times pi times four is equal to eight pi. The exact circumference is eight pi meters, but because of the pi, we often get a decimal approximation. So let's go to the calculator and get our decimal approximation for the circumference. We enter eight pi, so we press eight, and then on this calculator, second, and then the exponent key here brings up the pi. Notice how the pi above the exponent key, and then we press enter. If we round to two decimal places, notice there's a two in the third decimal place, and therefore we round down, the circumference C is approximately 25.13 meters. So we have the exact circumference of the circle, which is eight pi meters, and we have the approximate circumference of 25.13 meters. I hope you found this helpful.